news now on new Obamacare enrollment numbers that were released just a few minutes ago, and they show that while the numbers improved dramatically in December, the administration is nowhere near hitting the benchmarks it set before enrollment began. In all, more than 2 million have signed up for health insurance through the federal and state exchanges, but of that 2 million, only 24 percent are between the ages of 18 and 34. That's very significant and a far cry from the administration's goal of 40 percent enrollment among young adults. And while the White House is touting that a total of 6 million people have enrolled in the marketplace and Medicaid combined, that is a bit misleading. When you look at the big picture, you see many of the Medicaid enrollees were people who were just renewing their plans, meaning their coverage had nothing to do with Obamacare. Joining me now with a closer look at these numbers is CNN senior White House correspondent Brianna Keeler. Uh, Brianna, what do you make of this release? Uh, well, these, Jake, may be some of the most important numbers that we have gotten so far because they don't just tell us how many people have enrolled. They tell us who these people are. And young people are key to keeping the cost down because they are, generally speaking, cheaper to insure. They're supposed to offset older people who are more expensive to insure. So when you look at the breakdown here, the expectation at this point was that the young folks, 18 to 34 years old, would make up for about 40 percent of those who have applied. That was the goal. Well, we're learning now that it's at about 24 percent, so about a quarter. That is far short. You talk to administration officials, you talk to White House officials, and they say yes, but it's still a sizable chunk. This is sustainable. Uh, outside health policy experts look at this, and they say there may be some cost increases because of it. Uh, because of it, but for instance, Kaiser says that it would be about 2.5 percent uh, increase cost in premiums. But on the flip side, Jake, and these numbers are new, so we're waiting to hear from the insurance industry, which obviously may have a very different take. Uh, on the other side of the political aisle, Republicans, for instance, on the Hill are saying this is a bust because the percentage is low. They're also falling short on just how many people they were supposed to sign up at this point, 2.2 million. The goal at this point was 3.3 million. So they're saying that actually they're falling much farther. Uh, they're falling much shorter than they expected to with young people. All right. And of course, we still don't know how many have paid those premiums as opposed to just, as opposed to just signing up. Thank you, Brianna Keeler. We have